Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I've loaded up a survival world here so I can show you my deluxe x-ray machine. Now let me show you what, my, what I mean by that. Many of you will have seen x-ray machines before. This one is deluxe in that it has a full range of view. Anywhere that's below ground you can see from the x-ray machine. It works because of a rendering bug in Minecraft. Uh, basically, if your head is within glowstone, you can see through any adjacent blocks up until it hits air. So you can basically see through any surfaces into the caves. And the blue means the void. So you can really see everything. Of course, some caves are blocked by other caves. So there's a ravine here blocking a lot of my view. But I can see all around. And that's what's unique about the deluxe x-ray machine. Uh, to get out of the machine and turn it off, I go stand on this red pressure plate and it looks really cool. There's like a bunch of piston stuff that goes on. I'll show you all that again from above ground. Here's what it looks like when you're getting into the machine. It kind of uh, puts the two glowstone in place and then pushes them down with this double extender. And then there's a whole lot of machinery and that's where all the bulk of this machinery comes from in order to get those two glowstone out of the ground without having any pistons underground, because if you have any pistons underground, it blocks your your point of view. I can show you what I mean by that. I've got a couple other x-ray machines set up. This one is really common, and it's it, if you've seen x-ray machines before, this is probably about what you've seen. Uh, basically, it works by just you hop down and um, extend a couple of pistons. And you can see having these pistons down here means that uh, I can't see in this direction. So it's obstructed. I can see down and I can see all other directions. And this is only not blocked off, or this is only not visible because I, I could have built this lower. But if I had built this lower, you could see all directions except for where this comes from. And to get out, you just jump twice, uh, like in the deluxe design. But it's got that obstructed point of view. Here's another design that I came up with. Uh, where you jump in a little hole. It's got a little bit of a better range of view because the pistons are just a little bit farther away so I can see more in this direction and, and more around those pistons and I can see all other directions but it's still blocked a little bit. And uh, There's one final design I want to show you here and you can download this world to see all of these designs. Uh, but this one is is like the deluxe in that it has full range of view but it's not um, it's not perfectly reusable. Every time you use it, you have to run up and place a sand right here. And then you can you still have that full range of view here. Uh, you jump twice to get out, and to reset it, you have to uh, press that pressure plate again and break the sand. So what's going on with this one is when you place the sand and, and jump in, uh, the sand falls on your feet, and it's able to collide with your body. And then the pistons push the glowstone on top of your head. So this hole is entirely filled in, and that's that's what's important for the x-ray machine. I'll show you one more time. There you go. And so that's got that's got a good range of view, but it's just not resettable, which is the whole purpose of the deluxe machine. So there's a lot of circuitry to this thing. <laughs> Again, most of the circuitry is to get the glowstone out of the ground because it has to pull it out from uh, from being too deep. So, um, yeah, when, when you when you enter the machine after after a short delay, it pushes these two glowstone in, into this line, and then this double extender pushes them down into the ground. When it's pulling it out, there's a lot of stuff that happens. The double extender pulls the top one um, up by one, and then uh, and then this one pulls it up again, and then it retracts over here. So you got the top glowstone. Then these guys pull the bottom one up, and then the double extender pulls it up again, and and this guy extends and retracts. So you get you get them both here. I think it looks really cool, actually. Though it looks kind of like I don't know a, a car assembly line or something with all the precise machinery. It looks really cool when it's pulling everything out. <laughs> I love watching that. Anyway, like I said, you can download all this and uh, and see exactly how it works. Now this thing is gigantic, and I'm sure it could be compacted, and I would actually love to see how compact people can make a machine like this, a deluxe machine that's resettable without having to dig up sand or whatever. Uh, one one final note I'll make is uh, X-ray 
the x-ray bug is considered by some people to be a bug that shouldn't be exploited and so it's up to you to decide whether or not this is something you want to exploit um, but it is out there and I thought for anyone who who is interested in exploring the mechanics of the x-ray render bug uh, I thought this was a pretty cool device that's about it thanks for watching